guys, it's Erica here from Big Hat Creative and today we're going to create review slideshows in Squarespace 7.1 using the new auto layout list feature. Squarespace 7.1 has recently brought out a new feature and honestly, it's probably one of the coolest Squarespace design features they've released in a long time. While they've been making lots of updates in the last year, some of them have left a lot to be desired. This new auto layout list feature though is hella cool. Sure, it has a few kinks and it could be made a little better, but overall, it's a huge asset to Squarespace 7.1 websites. And today I'm gonna to show you how to use it to create testimonial sliders which is a really common use that I think these auto layout lists will be used for. But you can use them for so much more than that. They're extremely versatile, so if you're wanting to put basically anything into a slideshow, carousel or slider format, these auto layouts will probably do the trick. So let's get started. Okay, so go ahead and open up your Squarespace 7.1 site. And you can do this on essentially any page. The only page you won't be able to do this on is pages that don't have sections. So shop pages or blog pages is pretty much the only thing I can think of. Otherwise, most pages have sections and you just need to click edit on the page and then click add section. And we're going to click here on list. And you'll notice that when you click on list, there is this little um, symbol at the top right of all of these different examples that say auto. I'm not really sure why they call them auto layouts, but these are a group of auto layouts that are lists. The only other auto layouts there are are galleries. So they're essentially auto layout galleries. But today we're just looking at auto layout lists. And what's really cool is that they've pretty much given you every combination you can think of of designs for these auto layout lists. If you wanted to just experiment with these and start here, you can do that. But it's pretty clear that you can make so many different sorts of layouts with these auto lists. Today, we're just gonna do a simple testimonial slider. So I'm going to choose this last one here, which is essentially just a simple bit of text with two arrows on the side but you can create any of these layouts from any of these blocks. So we'll just start with this one, which is really simple, but if you did want to add a background to it to make it look more like this or turn it into a background with some cards over top of it, you can do that with any of these. So they're totally customizable. These are sort of just examples to start with, but we can get there with any of these options. So if you're creating a simple testimonial slider, you've probably already clicked to how simple this is going to be. The first thing you want to do is click edit content. And this is going to be the content within your slider or carousel or whatever you wanna call it. If you have a look at this edit content panel with the different settings in it, if you click on design, you'll see here it says banner slideshow. So this one with the arrows that goes across is a slideshow. And if you click on it, you'll see there's a simple list and a carousel version too. So if you play around with all of these different settings, this is how you can recreate all of those different layouts we saw before when we were choosing which one to start with. But let's keep it really simple and just add some basic content. I'm gonna start with design. So I generally like to work on the design panel settings first, just because sometimes if you put your content in first and edit your elements first and then change the whole design afterwards, it can reset to demo content. So you're better off adding in the design you want first, primarily just choosing one of these three, and we're using banner slideshow at the moment, and then entering in your content and elements afterwards. Make sure we're on banner slideshow, and the rest of these settings are pretty much up to you. You can adjust the width, you can adjust the vertical padding, the alignment, for infinite scroll, you can toggle this on or off. So what this means is if you have infinite scroll on, you're gonna be able to click through your testimonials no matter how many you have, and it will just keep going and rotating through them. If we turn infinite scroll off, you'll only be able to go through the amount of testimonials you have, and then the arrow will disappear, and you'll only be able to go back the other way like this. So I'm gonna leave infinite scroll on because I like how it just cycles through them. And show adjacent slides. This one doesn't look so good in the layout we're using, but I will show you how it works. I'm just gonna move this over and click show adjacent slides. And you'll see that this moved over a bit. 
it's hard to tell what it's doing with this layout that we've chosen, but essentially if you've chosen another layout where it's a little bit more obvious, you would be able to see a little bit of the next slide. So like I said, it's hard to see with this layout, but essentially it'll just show you a little peep of the next image or text or whatever you're using. And that's why this one has moved over to the left slightly. And it's supposed to basically indicate that there's something else coming. Though it's, like I said, really hard to see with this particular layout and the settings that we've chosen so far. This can be quite good if you're working with images because you'll see a little image stick out on the side. And it's especially good if you turn the arrows off because then people can see that there's more to look at without having the obvious indication of the arrows. But in this case, I'm gonna turn it off because it obviously doesn't look very good for this one. So you have two left here in the design panel, style, which opens up a whole nother panel of style settings. So you can adjust your text size. You can add a card to the testimonial, which is really cool. And I'll show you soon how to update any colors in this section. And with the card, it comes a whole bunch of other settings too. So padding and spacing. For navigation, you can turn the arrows on and off. And if you do turn the arrows off, I wouldn't do that with this layout because it's not very obvious that you can scroll through, but I'll just click save and show you. When you hover over the auto list section, you get a little grab cursor hand and you can actually click and drag like this. So this is the alternative to the arrows basically. I'd generally not recommend this one so much because I just think it's not very obvious to visitors that they can do this. But if you have like a gallery or just images, then maybe it will work for you. In this case, I'm gonna put the arrows back on. Under design, style, navigation, arrows. And then when you do have the arrows enabled, there are some more settings you can play around with. So you can put them at the bottom and you can move them around. Unfortunately, you can't put them at the top. It's just bottom or sides. Okay, I'm going to click back on the style menu, scroll back to the bottom of the design menu and then go into size and space. And this is just padding and sizing. You can adjust padding for the tops, the bottoms, the widths, the spaces between the elements, the position in the section, the space between the slides, the space below the item title. There's quite a lot that you can adjust here. With the layout we have chosen with just the simple, simple text, there's not a lot that you would really notice if I adjusted a lot of this, but when you start including images or even those card backgrounds that we talked about before, then adjusting the spacing does really come in handy. So now we can move on to elements. So this was a really simple, quick panel and it is essentially just showing and hiding the different elements you want. Because of the layout we chose in the beginning, the only thing we have showing is the item, title and body. But I'm gonna flick all of these on so you can see what they are. So this is the section title. You can have a whole title for your section. And when you scroll through the different elements, this stays as is. And then same for a button. So you can add a button to the bottom and it's gonna stay there no matter what is filtering through. So it's one static button and title. You can also adjust the spacing around these as well if you head back into the design menu. Once you enable them, there'll be some more settings to adjust the different spacings and sizes of them. So I'm going to flick those off because I don't want them. And for the item, we can add an image and a button. So these things are going to actually be attached to our item itself. So if I click out and scroll through, you'll see that we have a unique button for each item. And we also have a unique image for each item, which is really cool. In this case, I'm gonna turn the image off and the button off, but you can really play around with those different elements and create so many different layouts with those. Okay, so now the final part is focusing on the content. The content is obviously going to be your testimonials in this case, or if you're not doing testimonials, whatever you want. You can see we have four different items here and these are just what Squarespace added as demo content. And this one says dream it, so we can see that it relates here to this one. If you just click on it and open it up, you'll see that there's a title and a description. So to write the name of the person for the testimonial, add in your testimonial here, if that's what you want to do. There's some very basic formatting, so you can do bold, italic, or underline, and you can also do a link, but other than that, it's just a simple title and description. So that's how you add a testimonial, basically, and if I click back, you can add 
more here. You can delete existing ones. Or if you want to move them around, you can click and drag them in the menu like that. Okay, so that is essentially it for the auto layout lists feature with the simple banner slideshow for the testimonials. Like I said, you can do a million different layouts with this, which is really, really cool. It just opens up so many opportunities. But the next thing I want to talk about is coloring because there are a few colors that you can change within these auto lists. So I'm gonna show you where to do that. And just for example's sake, I'm gonna go back into design and under style, I'm going to turn the card on just so we can see how to change that color. But what I'm gonna show you right now is how to change the colors of anything in this section. So if you do have other elements in there that I don't have on this video, just follow what I'm about to do and you will be able to change the color of them if it's possible. Okay, so we have our slideshow and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the generic edit section icon. And this is what you'd normally see when you edit any section. It's a little bit more scaled back, but you can add a background image. If you do want a background image added to the whole section with your testimonials on top, this is how you do that. I know I showed you earlier how to add an image to individual items, which can show up in the background too, but that is a different image for every single item. In this case, if you wanted just one static image, with the slideshow over top, you'd add that here. The next thing we wanna look at is the colors tab. On your Squarespace 7 Point website, you have a variety of color themes. If you've never dived into playing around with your Squarespace 7.1 colors and learning how those work, you might want to look at a different video and get a handle on how the different color themes work because they can be a little bit confusing if you're just starting, but I'm just gonna keep this short and simple. The first thing you wanna do is choose the color theme you want to use for your testimonial section. In my case, I'm using lightest one and I'm happy with that. But if you have different color themes, you wanna add a different background color or whatever, go ahead and choose the color theme that you want to use. Then what you're gonna to do to edit the colors is click save. And we're gonna go into design site styles and click on colors. When you click on colors, you'll see it says lightest one here. So it's basically just telling me what color theme is used for this section. And because we want to edit the colors in this specific section, we're going to come to the lightest one color theme and click on the edit icon. Then we're going to scroll down until we find the list sections. And you'll notice that there are a ton of different sections that say list section. So list section, list section, simple, list section, carousel, list section, banner, slideshow. So we wanna choose the one that we're using. And if you remember, we're using the banner slideshow. It's quite cool because you can actually customize totally different colors within the same color theme for the different list section layouts. Make sure you go to the one that you're using. In our case, we're using banner slideshow. And these are all the colors that you can change within the banner slideshow. But for us, the only colors we really have is the arrow and the card. So I could change the arrow background to bright yellow. I could change the actual arrow to black. And I could change the card color to a dark gray. And then I could change the text on the card to white. Okay, I know that looks pretty crazy, but it gives you a good example of what you can change. Everything in here, whether or not it's actually on your page right now, these are all of the colors that you can change within the list section banner slideshow. So that's essentially it. That's how you add a testimonial slideshow or review slider carousel, whatever you wanna call it, with the auto layout list sections and also how you can tweak all of the colors for those sections. Hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below and thanks for watching.